I'm trying to put you on if you let me. A lot of my content, I be trying to put you on if you let me, but y'all don't be listening to me. Y'all be trying to conform to the norm. We're not trying to conform to the norm. We are the norm. Do what they doing, cause this what everybody doing. No, no, if everybody going left, I'm going right. That's just how I live. What it do? What it do? Last time you all saw me, we, we did this bun look. It's actually a few days later because procrastination at its best over here. I hadn't done a bun in about two years and that was my first bun on my natural hair. So I wanted that video to stand alone. But now, back to the recreation. We're about to do this makeup look. Let's work with this side like this side. We'll have it over here. So this video consists of two different things. Shout out to Tierra Walker. She did a Target only makeup tutorial and I was like absolutely loving it. I love all of her videos. So I put out my makeup items that come from Target. I already unbagged it, but everything else that I felt that I needed, I did get while I was at Target a couple of weeks ago. My bun looked cute. Makeup looked good. Basically, I'm going to try to recreate that look. We should be working. We're doing a lot of talking. The e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. They're about like six bucks. I really like this primer. Drugstore or not, it really just gets the job done. Back then, I don't think I primed my face. Not necessarily using the exact same products because like I said, I couldn't find a video on my channel for that look. I didn't film that look. Basically, just go by following just the picture. So I like to apply my primer and then we go in with the brows. So I got my Galaxy Bud in too, by the way. For brows, we're using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Ash Brown. This was only $9.99, by the way. I don't know when I should squeeze my conversations in outside of mentioning what the products are. In my last makeup video, somebody was saying basically, I like when y'all like present what y'all got to say in a, what's the word I'm looking for? Give a suggestion, but not try to like, you're not coming at me a certain kind. Like some people, when they present their request, you make a request, but they ain't like, oh, this video could have been better if she would have blah, blah, blah. The way that you say something. And they were like, I enjoyed the makeup video. Maybe next time could you add in like a little side conversation here and there. Not just all about the makeup. So that's what this is going to be. Not just about the makeup. The difference between conversation and side conversation is if I only sit here and say, for the brows, I'm using the NYX blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to use that to fill in my brows. And then we move right on to the next step. But I never entertain you with any other topics. I don't like this pencil so far. If it was darker, it would be good for me. But the Ash Brown is not giving me what I need. Actually, I need to pull up the photo so that I make sure I'm not just doing my makeup, but I'm following this look. Okay, because them brows is popping. Popping, okay? <laughs> We're finally at, I won't even say finally at, that sounds harsh, but we reached 250,000 subscribers. We've surpassed it now. So, of course, now that we've surpassed it, I can say thank you. You can't say thank you to someone when you get to a certain milestone. Some people like to play around and play games. Let's just call it what it is. This video is gonna be very transparent, a couple of unpopular opinions. Whatever happens, we say what we see it. Some people, they be like, oh, let me unsubscribe. Like if I was to post saying thank you for 250,000 subscribers right at 250,000, oh girl, if 10 of us unsubscribe, she won't be there anymore. So now I think we're like at 252,000. So thank you to you guys. For concealer, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer, deep caramel, six books. So I think I used to clean up under my brows before filling them in. I don't know how I used to do that. But yeah, to everybody that show me love, that be rocking with your girl, that be supporting, that be tagging me, sharing my channel with other people. I see y'all and I appreciate the love and support. We just want to put that out there. I like this concealer a lot. It's only six books. We all have the motto of you get what you pay for. When I first purchased it, uh, probably a couple of months ago, it's because a lot of the reviews that I had seen, I was like, oh, okay, let me check this out. Let me try this for myself for six books. She's bomb. So for my foundation, if you're not new to my channel, y'all know that I absolutely love the Milani Concealer Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation Plus Concealer. I have mine in gold and tan. If I need to, I'm gonna mix in some of the same foundation, but it's a shade up. So this is amber, this is 10, this is 11. Mm. Destiny needs to slow down. She getting ahead of herself. Real quick, we're gonna clean up the brows. I haven't been cream contouring a lot lately, so I don't have a darker shade to use for concealing in the L for concealing of the top of the brows i'm going to take the milani foundation plus concealer in amber y'all see my clean brushes i gotta point it out because i know y'all ain't gonna point it out so i figured i should they clean sis i'm about to try the sonya kashuk hopefully i'm saying that correctly makeup blender it was only 4.95 i posted this to my instagram story actually to let you all vote on which sponge i should get from target and y'all voted for sonya kashuk which is the one that i wanted anyway i picked up the elf one first but then i was like let me get this one because a lot of my favorite youtubers use this one I actually just just saw Naturally Sunny using this one again in another one of her makeup videos. And her face 
face be beat, so. I feel like if y'all would've voted for a different sponge, I still would've just got the one I wanted. Oh, it's so cute, look at it. A Little more flat on the bottom. Got the little pointy tip. I'ma dirty it up. Okay, let's go with it, I'll be right back. I was wetting it in the sink, I should've took the camera with me, but once I get it set up, I hate moving it. This thing is huge. Don't get me wrong though, it's not another sponge out there like the Beauty Blender, 20 bucks. I know, I know how we feel about the 20. Ain't nobody <sighs> coming how Beauty Blender is coming. But it's big. It's not gonna take me no time to blend this in. <gasps> I almost forget. You can't wait to read the comment section on this one. I don't think I did this back then. We trying to get to the same look. Not necessarily the same steps as far as the total outcome of the natural look is what we're going for. I'm gonna take the NYX Professional Makeup Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh. This is a up to eight hour multitasking spray. So you can use it for primer, setting, uh, refreshing the face. I like to hit my face with it before I blend in my foundation. I haven't used a sponge to blend my foundation in in a long time. I recently now started using brushes to do it. I'm pretty sure back then I was using sponges. I'm trying to follow some of my techniques that I remember doing. Why you say you can't wait to read the comments on this one? What you predicting? Oh, cause I said ain't nobody better than, I mean, <laughs> about my improper English. Oh, do they have a different choice on the sponge? I mean, yeah, other sponges, you can try to get quality at a cheaper price. Even as I'm blending in with this, it's not as soft as what Beauty Blender gives you. It expanded, sure, and it's a sponge, sure. Is it the Beauty Blender? No, does it have to be the Beauty Blender? No, cause Beauty Blender is Beauty Blender. I'm not expecting anything else to come close to that. For the price, still getting a beat face. I mean, it's getting the job done. We just have our preferences. Why is that? Why do we always have to compare things which one do we like better this Nikki or Cardi this person or that and how come we can't like a lot of stuff in life so we always gotta pick sides you're just not allowed to like a lot of stuff why is that why are we like that even with me being natural now I get that a lot which do you prefer natural or relaxed I've been relaxed now I'm natural and I like different things for different reasons like it puzzles my brain to have to think about trying to decide because I don't think they're hard about it yeah I will relax my hair again absolutely I once said that I wouldn't have natural hair and here I am sometimes people have a problem with that if you go back on something in life you should never change your mind if you once said this you should always stick with that that's not life that's not realistic this is the same elf concealer 16 hour camo I think people get mad when people do change their man like Nah, you said that you would never blah, blah, blah. I once said that I ain't really wearing makeup like that. I put makeup on. I get comments like that all the time. I'm not saying it in a rude way, they're not. Just acknowledging the fact that they've been here for a long time. I remember when Destiny didn't used to wear makeup. And I'm like, yeah, I remember too. Like, that's crazy. We're not doing the chin. I don't know what possesses me to do my chin sometimes, but we're not doing the chin. Yeah, time changes things. Like, you're supposed to change. Somebody that you've been knowing since y'all was both 12. And y'all 20, however now. <laughs> 25, 26, I'm 28 if you're wondering. You're like, yeah, I've been knowing her since she was 12 and she changed and she not the same no more. I would hope that she's not. If y'all been knowing each other since y'all was 12, like she shouldn't be. Improper. What do you mean by that? Could you elaborate, please? It doesn't have to be formal though. I don't get where people get that from that YouTube is a professional place that is supposed to be the standard of what people are used to seeing because someone else does a certain thing on their channel. YouTube is never supposed to be there. It's supposed to be exactly what you want it to be. Like there is no standard of how it should be done. I should have a cute background. That's the freedom of YouTube. Personality, like you can't water it down so much to where you're not even giving you. In my vlogs when I was talking about my vlog camera being broken, a lot of people were like wait like did I miss something a lot of y'all saw the unboxing video on this camera the one that I'm filming with I bought this camera not with the intent on it ever being my vlog camera because it's huge it's just too big it's around the house I'll grab it and vlog for you all just to keep the vlogs going since that one is broken but that camera was never purchased for the sake of taking it with me everywhere I go props to everybody that do their face and talk at the same time it's a struggle for me I ain't even ashamed to say that it really is for everybody that asks like questions about YouTube I want to be a youtuber blah 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 can you give me advice do you be you set your own standard of what you want your normal to be on your youtube channel give the people you because that's the best you you got to give it's the best thing going the setting powder i have the why did i wait until i dumped it out here to tell y'all what i got maybelline fit me loose finishing powder the number 20 light medium when me and my sister bone did our makeup together when we swapped makeup Okay, I'm about to try. I'm about to try. It did it out. I talk proper on YouTube. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Why does it smell good? I mixed the. I don't care what 
you mix? Why does it smell good? That's air. I don't know air spawn. This fragrance in it? It's like perfume. This wait, wait, dark. quit air spawn. This is dark. It'll probably make you look more natural. Nice, it's enough. It's like celebrity like. Oh, you giving yourself a big chin. Let's talk about that. Why do girls always come to a chin? This is the makeup setting powder that she gave me to use. So when I was in the store in Target, like, which one should I get? I was like, duh, get the one that Boom gave you to use. Blending these creases out. Then we're gonna sit. So this camera, when you do YouTube, eventually you get into having more than one camera. I have one that I prefer for vlogging. And then when I'm sitting down like this, this one gives you a little bit better quality for sit down videos. Get your thoughts together. I used to use my vlog camera for all of my videos, even my sit down videos, but you can't connect a mic to that camera. It gets the job done. Like eventually I wanted something else, which is why I bought this one for sit down videos. And then my vlog camera was always only supposed to be for vlogs, but I used to film all my videos on my phone. So if you've been here a while, you know about that. I'm trying to tap it in though, cause I don't really bake much. I know I didn't bake probably back then or did I? I don't remember. I completely forgot to go down the bridge of my nose since I didn't sit there yet. So far I'm liking the products that we're using. Some of them aren't new to me, but the sponge is new to me. This is the first use on this sponge and a brow pencil, which is half the price of the Anastasia one. I'm gonna add a total too for everything that I'm using. How much this face costs? I can tell the difference in my face, the fact that I didn't use a beauty blender. Yeah, it's patchy. I mean, maybe when I set it, we can get something different, but you can't use something once and be like, oh, I don't like this. Like I watch many videos where people be like, I know in my review, my first review I said this, but now I feel like this. You gotta go in with it more than once to make a decision. But if you're not new to my channel, you know I can't talk to my makeup, so I'll be forcing it for y'all. <laughs> every time, sis, every time. But I could sit down and do my makeup, this same look, same beat, but not record, and I'd be like, ah, okay. And the recording for me just hit different with makeup. I could do my hair all day and talk to the camera, but when I do my makeup, ooh, it's just, Different. I'm just putting stuff in places that it don't go or putting too much of it. I don't want to not do it because I tell myself I can't. The reason that I can probably do my hair and talk is because I've done it enough that it's second nature to me. So I got to ease my way into being able to do it more. And then voila, boom, there we are. But I've been doing my hair all the time, but that's the thing too. I haven't always done makeup, so that's newer for me. When did I first start wearing makeup? I eased my way into it. Same thing, contour palette by Black Radiance. I don't even know. I want to say maybe 2015. First, I started wanting to put on mascara, some gloss, try to fill my brows in. Oh, I need some concealer now, and now I need some foundation. Then I need the blush, and you before you know it, like you just beating your whole face now. I don't know the exact year. Like people ask me stuff like that, like hey, how long? it take to get your first 100 subscribers and it's like I have the slightest idea like I don't have a notebook <laughs> with all of this stuff written in it somewhere I don't even know I forget I forget what are you asking me for the guys that feel that their girlfriends don't need the makeup oh when a guy compliment a girl and tell her she's pretty and doesn't need it and she wear it anyway she knows she don't need it. I take that as a compliment, not a stop putting it on. <laughs> First off, I'm not gonna not put it on because a guy says that I don't need it. We don't wear it because we need it. Like nobody needs makeup. Think about like even as a little girl, like you play dress up, polish your own nails, or your mama just finished your hair, but you think you could do it better. I will not even say better, you wanna play in it. For my eyeshadow back then, I didn't use eyeshadow actually. I would just use the same thing I'm contouring with and sweep that along the eyes. That's definitely what it looks like I have going on, on this picture so that's what we're gonna do like I said I like me without my makeup which is why my previous video my bun video I am makeup on in the video didn't feel like my video would, would be incomplete if I didn't have it on it's preference dress up like, makeup is just a 10 year old's definition of playing tea party dressing up and having the little furry thing you put on and she put on this over-the-top dramatic princess gown or something and she goes to the grocery store and people looking like what the little girl got on but she wants to dress herself for the day it expands it's just a larger definition definition of that same thing as you get older. I used to go in with, actually it wasn't this, it's actually the Shade and Light Palette by Kat Von D, but that's not available at Target. I'm gonna just go in with the darkest shade that's in the True Complexion Contour Palette. And I used to sweep this using a small brush, flat, right? To give you hair-like strokes. I used to sweep this in the same direction of the brows. You can probably sort of see the shine within the brows, but brow pencils are waxy. I got this from Alyssa Ashley, and I don't know why I didn't remember, like in none of my recent brow videos have I done this, but you just kind of sweep this over 
where you've done the brows at, sort of like setting them. Like we set everything else with powder, why don't we set our brows with powder? <laughs> and I used to do this all the time. Now that I remember, I'm gonna start back doing this. This stays within the boundaries of just the brow as you sweep that through versus taking the powder that you set the entire face with and dab it over the brow. That gives you something different. And then this won't turn out shiny when you take a photo either. Like I don't like a glare, a shiny glare on the brows. You can go back through and brush them. I wish this was a makeup tutorial already because I would really like to know like Destiny, what did you do that day? I remember the photo very clearly. I was on my way to my little cousin's graduation. So I know I didn't spend that much time on my makeup at all. I'm on the passenger side in that photo so I know I rode with somebody else. So when they get ready to leave, that's when you gotta be dressed and ready, Destiny. So that lets me know I ain't spending that much time on my makeup. If I did, I got up early enough to do it. For me, my channel has always just been about like what I realistically do is what I show and share. And I get that's why for some people it can become confusing, but why isn't Destiny doing this or that? Because other channels are doing this and that now and following this trend and doing that. Just cause everybody jumping off the cliff, you know what I mean? I gotta have a video of me doing that on my channel too. <laughs> Some about some you could jump off the bridge. <laughs> so in the sense of staying true to self, I don't have to follow a lead. I can lead in the way I want to lead and then someone will follow that. I don't have to do it because that's what's being done. You gotta just do what you wanna do. Even outside of YouTube, like I read a lot of my old statuses and stuff on Facebook when it reminds me this is what you were posting, this is what you was thinking. Like that's just me as a person, subtracting the fact that I'm also a YouTuber out of it. I am who I am. Like you can think about anybody, if they do YouTube or not. If a new shampoo come out, do you just go get it cause it's new if you got some in there already? But don't get me wrong, for the sake of content sometimes sure i think you should take a trip for your channel to vlog it because that would be good content that's not the angle of taking the trip the trip would get taken because you just want to take the trip the trip isn't because i'm a youtuber though you see what i'm saying when you start making it feel like work then it's work so for the lashes i'm going to be using the why did i already open them up i'm using the ardell professional natural eye lifting effect i haven't had the eye lifting effect ones but i looked at them in target and was like oh i have used ardell wispies before but the natural lift ones i'm excited to try Actually, in this picture, I will let you all know I'm not wearing lashes at all. It's the Black Up Mascara. I recently added it to my cart out and purchased it again. During my days of wearing that mascara, people always thought I had lashes on. All of my old looks where I just would stop at the mascara phase, my comment section was always like, you need lashes. This would be more complete with lashes. Everyone does this Destiny, you should be doing it too. And now they need to get like me and, and buy this mascara instead. So like that's the best mascara that I've ever used. It's not available at Target. These look like wispies too me slick but it claims that they have this little natural lifting effect so we're gonna see and the glue that i'm using it's not too pricey either it's available at target it's the duo strip lash adhesive actually y'all put me on to this you know how you get the white ones and they're supposed to dry clear but they just don't do that and then when you looking down and stuff you can see it because it didn't dry clear this one as i'm applying it it's like black the white look on your lashes is not cute so while we wait on that to dry i'm gonna go ahead and take the NYX Waterproof Plus Volume Mascara. Normally I use the Dang Girl Mascara. I don't really like that mascara. I went live in Sephora and was like, what should I get? And y'all had told me to get that one. I don't much care for it at all. It's not worth 20 something bucks. Uh, what's the other one y'all told me to try better than six? If I don't like the dang girl, I don't feel like I like that one either. But my black up one is in my cart and I can't wait till it get here. So looking at that photo, I remember I didn't use brow gel. I used to take my actual mascara and put it on the brow hairs. The key is getting it on the brow hairs though. Not like mushing it into the brow, but you gotta go ever so slightly with it and just look at me ever so slightly with the <laughs> why I gotta talk like that and hit that brow like boom boom baby let me get in because I know you like I don't see nothing see that compared to that got it make sure you see it do you see it you probably don't still but in that picture the topic of discussion in that comment section underneath that picture baby was my brows get in on this sis I'm trying to put you on I'm trying to put you on if you let me a lot of my content I be trying to put you on if you let me but y'all don't be listening to me y'all be trying to conform to the norm we're not trying to conform to the norm we are the norm the norm is within you sis do what they doing cuz this what everybody doing no no if everybody going left I'm going right I want to go to the right and see what's over there 
there, I might just let y'all go that way and I might never come to the direction y'all going in. That's how I be feeling. If something has ever been going on and it's like Destiny not getting with it like everybody else, it's probably intentional. <laughs> they need to get like me actually. It looks like in this photo, so I'm gonna assume it's a pencil. So we're gonna tight line. That might be what that is. While we wait on the lashes to do their thing. Cause I know my mascara ain't gonna come close to that, the one I currently have. I like this video of how I'm talking, but I'm not explaining myself. If y'all heard in my other video when I was noticing how in my older videos, I explained my steps, but I didn't explain myself. That's what we're back to doing. So a lot of y'all gonna be here for it, a lot of people aren't, but my life isn't about trying to please the people that have already decided that they just not rocking with me. In no way, shape, or form should we do that. Let's get these lashes on. Place it in the center. Oh, I hope it didn't dry on me. Come on, don't be dry yet. It's 2020, don't be dry out here. Are we giving? Ooh, look at that lash. Boom. Let's see what the claims are on these. Natural eye lifting effect. Is that where we're giving? Somebody come to tell me my eyes are not hooded, that I just probably have a smaller lid space. In another makeup video, I think they kind of giving lifted. Nah, I didn't go. go on the bottom with the pencil, so I'm not gonna do that. One of the keys to my lashes back then was the Koki Professional Lash Boosting Primer. I hope this is available at Target. If not, hey, it's an exception. Don't judge me. Let me put that on first. I don't know what it is about this stuff, you just gotta see what it does. I don't know how to explain what it do. You just wait, you'll see. It gives the lashes something extra to hold on to, which really makes them a little bit more noticeable. Oh my God. My fear of body mascara is always getting it on my face. But I feel like when I use this primer stuff that it never really gets on my face. I lost it for a long time and I just recently found it again. I think it looks like the photo. I really think it looks like the photo. That gives me skin like every time. Highlight, let's do some highlights. I'm pretty sure I was wearing the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. It still is my go-to, it's still in my drawer. It's not available at Target. So highlight, I have the Wet n Wild highlight and then I also have a little bit in here, a little bit, a whole bunch, barely even use it, that I hope can get me close to that. I'ma start with this one, it's a little bit darker and then I'ma hit it with that Wet n Wild on top to get that glow, cause she glowing. I didn't wear much blush back then. We won't put on any blush, but that glow is all the way there. But then again, I drink my water and mind my business and I stay in my own lane. So uh, what more could you expect outside of this highlight? There's only so much we can do with this kind of highlight. The highlight comes from within. It's from the inside. This gives me nothing. Get this for the contouring. We're not purchasing this for the purpose of highlighting. Wait a while, she's gonna get me all the way together. Yes, she is. Do you see that? Look at that. Look at that. Come on now. <laughs> I don't know if we could claim that this is Ratchet Destiny's video or not. Let me know what y'all think though, cause y'all can always recognize her. Y'all be like, she was very much present and I'm very much letting her live lately. There's that. I don't do it much now, but I always used to highlight under my brows back then. I'm gonna sweep a little bit under the highest point of the brow. I don't put the mascara on the false lashes, but I put my hand right here like this, just kind of sweep that along my lashes. Because you can zoom in on Instagram now, we're not trying to be clockable. Although some people like to try and reach just a little bit. They just want to wear casts on their arms all quarantine, but you know, that's neither here or there. For these lips, let's see. We're giving very much natural, very much. That's probably NYX. One of the butter glosses from NYX that I just don't currently have. This picture that we recreated is from a good couple of years ago. Let's talk about the fact that I look just like that photo still. Black does not crack on this side. Where I'm standing, I didn't see cracks. The last thing we need to do to finish the look off, something that I kind of shy away from doing much now, mostly because I just sometimes forget, inner corner highlight. Wait a while. I didn't really buy product, too many different new products that I already had. I was like, if it's available at Target, why buy something else? Buy a new one, why? We can spend that on something else. Actually, the next day, I went ahead and did my bun. It definitely did last those four days that I was hoping for, I think. I lost some clips. The video just kind of stopped where it stopped at. But today is actually Memorial Day. I did the same look. I just don't feel like wearing lashes today. I think in the video I said, my makeup turns out different whenever I sit down and do it and the camera isn't on. This is that, okay? When I just sit down and do my makeup, I do it much better. I timed myself doing my makeup. I was able to do my makeup in like 26 minutes, start to finish the entire thing. If y'all want to see me like, like time myself do my makeup I do have a video like that on my channel I'll insert it and from there you can watch that video for the gloss I just put on Fenty a 
Fenty Gloss because I don't have any drugstore glosses currently that would get me close enough. This is kind of where we finish off at. I don't think I lined my lips in that photo, so I just only put the gloss on. I left whatever foundation, concealer powder, and on my lips as it looks really smooth. These are my natural lashes. If you all aren't new to my channel, then y'all know that we kind of went through my closet together. I did the KonMari method. We hold up an item, decide if it sparks joy. If it doesn't, you say thank you and let it go. The jumpsuit was an item that I let go, not because it didn't fit or anything and that it wasn't cute, but I didn't find myself wearing it a lot. I would have to paint it like this. So this is another jumpsuit, like when you're in the beauty supply store and they have clothes sometimes. That's where this is from. Unless I check the tag and can link it. <laughs> Just check the beauty supply store. Maybe I didn't get it this season though, so I don't know if it's there. But I gotta gather up the camera and everything. It is Memorial Day. She's already at our parents' house. I rode with her to the graduation that I was talking about in this video. So the next thing we need to do now, I'm gonna take my phone with me and try to screen record. That way you all can see me trying to get the same selfie. My Instagram pictures now, most of them are taken on either my vlog camera before I got broken. It's in the back. Y'all can probably see it in the back. I'll do it in a vlog. I finally got like a cubicle. I was gonna post and pin a comment saying, what should we do to decorate that little section? But yesterday when I finished my makeup, I ended up getting a cubicle from Lowe's. So I'm gonna put that together. We're gonna go ahead and head to where Dominique is. I could take the picture in my car. My seats are red. I guess it'll be a recreation. It'll be an updated <laughs> recreation. I mean, I guess this whole video is like an updated recreation. I had to do more makeup today because I plan on filming another video. When I imported my clips, I hate when iMovie does that. It just lost some of them. So five minutes. Oh my God, I got to shorten this. I'm scared it's going to fall. Oh, don't fall. Now y'all see why I said I don't take this big camera anywhere. Like, <sighs> I feel like the vlog camera and this one costs about the same. But if I'm going to drop and ruin one, I'd rather it be my vlog camera than this one. Put the seat belt on so we can match. I didn't have this on. Did I have this phone back then? I always had a Samsung starting now. I love Samsung, even when flip phones were in. That was my phone of choice. My hand was kind of like... did it almost try this again Water, it's a hundred degrees cast to begin with okay i think that's good something should be good i'm not getting all my bun though that's good enough and i can take the seatbelt off because we're not even moving everybody that i already ate she said so i'm just gonna go to my folks house and get my plate hey man come back and then just film this beauty favorites video for y'all I hope y'all enjoy this video. All the products that I used are available at Target, maybe with a few exceptions, but everything will be linked in my description box down below. They are affiliate links. Maybe just write the products down that I was using if you don't want me to get like a coin for you shopping through my links. <laughs> Somebody asked me last time too, like, do you get paid if I just click on them? If you don't make a purchase, then you know, if you just want to click to see what it is, it's a tracking link, but just clicking the link itself doesn't pay me. Certain ones we have to give, that's an FTC discount climber that you have to give when your links are affiliated so there's that y'all want to see more recreations i did recreate the bun look in the previous video so definitely check that out i have it linked on the card at the end of this video and as always i thank you all so much for watching bye Whew. now to go enjoy my day